Well, fallout today from a wild special counsel meeting in just about an hour. Alder woman Emma Mitz, who was blocked from going inside that meeting, is expected to give a very passionate speech in council chambers. Now, Mitz was physically blocked by Alderman Carlos Ramirez Rosa. It appeared he didn't want her getting inside to vote on a sanctuary city measure. We're joined right now by Alder person Stephanie Coleman. She is the leader of the Chicago Aldermanic Black Caucus. Uh, good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. I, I want to start right off here. What are you feeling like ahead of the next city council meeting with everything that's going on right now? You know, we as the Chicago Automatic Black Caucus, and I have to credit every member who unanimous, unanimously had to make the decision that it was unacceptable, inexcusable for the mistreatment, the bullying, the harassment, both physical and verbal um, harassment to Alder Warmer Mitts, who is our strong, our senior, our, our, our black foremother of city council. Um, while I do not know what the future may hold for Alderman Rosa in the next couple of hours, certainly we stand in support for Alder Warmer Mitts. And, and quite frankly, it's just 30 years that our foremothers of the city council, African American women, have had to endure the bullying tactics um, if for men to treat women like this in leadership. So certainly we stand for with Alder Mormon Mitts. So let me ask you about the response. I read your written response uh, as, as a caucus together this morning before we came on the air, and you said that uh, you were pleased with the mayor's response. Uh, give me a little bit of, of a sense of what those conversations have been like um, since he put out a statement that he was okay with how we were going with this. You know, in leadership, it is, this, it is difficult when um, you have to ask for not only your four leader, but uh, your zoning chair to have to resign and now restructure leadership in the entire city council. So uh, we are satisfied with uh, the swiftness of that response. However, we're looking forward to better leadership, better choices in leadership. Certainly, uh, to never repeat the behavior of the former floor leader, a soon to be former floor leader, as well as Sheriff Zoni. So, you just kind of touched on it a little bit, but so Ramirez Rosa resigned, as we talked about, from that position. But some say he should step down altogether. Uh, that's not a position he's going to have anymore. Uh, do you think that was enough, or do you think he should step down? You know, I don't know what the future may hold for Alderman. Rosa, but certainly the Chicago Automatic Black Caucus, we stand firm, we stand in solidarity, not only the Black Caucus, but other members of city council. Bullying, physical harassment, verbal harassment, not only to Alder Woman Mitts, but to other, other members, it's unacceptable. It's unacceptable for anyone in leadership. And unfortunately, his actions will cause some reprimands, it's gonna cause some tough decisions for my colleagues to make on today. All the person, Stephanie Coleman, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And I'm sure we'll be speaking again after today's meeting. Thank you.